Welcome back to Ghoster Coasters. This is Jared and Stacy here bringing you the latest news and speculation around the amusement industry. Last time on the channel, you caught us at King's Island opening weekend with some fantastic friends, and we had a blast spending time with everyone. Over the weekend, though, it seems some progress was made on the Top Thrill Dragster footer with the concrete being poured. So let's dive into this, give you a quick update, and tell you why the spike may not be happening after all, and how this could be even better. Stay tuned, because here we go. So first and foremost, we would like to again thank Lake Erie Lifestyles for flying around the peninsula and zooming in on the dragster footers and the construction updates and allowing everybody to use their footage. As you can see, it looks like even more work was done over the weekend and you can see all of these footers and things that are being pile drove into the ground, the gravel in the Iron Dragon Pond, and it, it looks like concrete was poured too. So there's definitely more going on than we had assumed was gonna happen before opening day, so let's dive into what this could actually mean. So with Dragster, we've seen what looks to be footers going in. One of them we can now all but guarantee is the footer behind the photo booth there. We've also seen Iron Dragon's pond get slowly filled with gravel to help the construction vehicles navigate around the midway, particularly the corkscrews and versions a little easier. So, is a second footer going behind Coaster's diner there? And is a third footer going in? Where is the third footer going? And finally, could there be more footers and more to this addition than just a spike? Is this bigger than what we're all predicting right now? Let's take an interesting idea here. Cheetah Hunt at Busch Gardens Tampa is an Intamin launch coaster with a unique element on it that I think could be a much better way to grab the height record than a gimmicky spike. That's what I'm saying. now. Imagine that figure eight tree near or above the 500 foot mark. That's not a cheap way to steal the height record and it would offer a few elements per se in one big element versus just an up and down twisty spike. You would get a little pop of air time, you'd get some laterals and you would get a massive drop that would almost indefinitely take the drop record away from King to Ka and possibly easier to maintain. And it's one of those crazy unique elements where you look at it and it's just so video and photogenic like you stare at it. And could you imagine that being there? That's that's a unique ride. Like they're talking 2024 new coaster and all this stuff and a spike is, we've seen it before with Pantheon and right. with all due respect, we've seen that just not on the height scale. So could we be seeing something a little more different not a family version of this figure eight tree maybe with an inversion that takes you know i'm not saying at they 500 feet but they could do some it. crazy stuff here so let's break this down a little bit more logistically all right so first things first we're not saying that this is true that any of this is going to happen these are just some rumors that have been floating around out there that have been speculated especially with that cedar point teaser and the blackout of the coaster and showing it going up the opposite sides so the first rumors we've heard were the launch was going to be switched to the opposite side, sending riders up the drop side of the tower and down the original launch side. Which is interesting. The use of swing launches are expected but not entirely needed as LSMs are more than capable of accelerating trains over the top hat these days. Yeah, that's one thing I would like to touch on a little bit here is there are LSM companies that have said they are more than capable of launching things over 120 miles per hour. So the fallacy out there that they can't do that without the use of swing launches is kind of, I mean, as far as we know, it's false. You can get it up there. And other people have talked about the punch. I've seen the punch being another thing online. And our buddy from Station Weight actually has something coming out here soon. I'm pretty sure that'll explain this a little better. Yeah. But the punch is a thing that LSMs are now able to create as well. So he did mention this, and that's something to look forward with Dragster. They may be able to recreate that launch with an LSM system somehow. And I'm sure someone out there somewhere will say that it's not the same. But there are actual math statistics to back this up out there. We don't have them. But be on the lookout for it, because I'm pretty sure Station Weight's video is going to touch on that here in the future. But that's one thing out there that we need to touch base on. The LSMs can launch the trains over that top hat. And with the figure eight tree in mind, 
could they launch you up the 420 foot top hat then? Up the 500 plus foot figure eight tree before bringing you back down into a new break run? Yeah, there would be the two launches there because you would launch up the, the tower and on the other side you could launch. That's something that, yeah, that's an interesting thing we were kind of diving into here. It would bring you right back to the station and it's just one option here, but even a reverse figure eight spike would be kind of interesting if they figured out how to kind of launch you up there and make it spike out and then you came back down it. But that's that's a whole nother story. There's plenty of options there. The spike is still feasible and in play as well. Yes. But with how far these footers are looking to be stretching apart, it looks like it could be a bigger element than just a spike. And I understand you gotta have a lot of support for a 500 foot spike too. Yes. But let's just keep a look out here over the summer and start seeing any markings and seeing what they're doing. This is all getting very interesting with the top fill dragster. We're not gonna drag on much longer here because that is the update. They have poured footers. There's concrete in the first one. The second one behind Coaster's Diner looks to be like something could be happening or it could just be the gravel road. But let's see, where could they be placing things? Let us know down in the comments. Where do you think they're gonna place new footers? What do you think is happening? Do yeah. you think a figure eight tree could be feasible? I, I mean, saw somebody say something intimate. about maybe keep an eye out and see if they post like a third footer over by the train station there by Miller. Yeah, I've seen the train station. I've seen the yep. Plaza Arcade where yep. the, or the Celebration Midway area. Not the arcade, but yeah, the Midway area there. So, I mean, there's a lot of things they could do here. Could you imagine a figure eight towering over Iron Dragon and being the, the main thing in the skyline at Cedar Point? That yeah. would be crazy, so. Thanks for being a part of this spooky community. And, and coaster ghosting with Ghoster Coasters. Coasters. Have a great night, everybody. Don't. And have a great season this year. Absolutely, and don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, and leave us some comments.